I've decided this weekend to take on the challenge of filming a reading vlog as though it were being directed by Wes Anderson. I haven't decided what book I'm going to read, and I have an important event to attend near the home of my arch nemesis. I'm not entirely sure that this is going to work out. Hello, my name's Roisin, and I have a habit of setting myself reading vlogs I have neither the skill nor the budget to achieve. But since this is a reading vlog, I do intend on reading some books. The ones I'm going to choose from are... So Hagsy by Margaret Atwood I have on my Kindle, but Kindles aren't really aesthetic, so that'll be of no use. So, I guess I'm reading Washington Black. I'm also planning to listen to the audiobook of Possession by A.S. Byer, since, well, I'm a month behind on my book club. If you want to know more about my book club, I will leave a link in the cards for you to go and check it out. Since this is quite different from anything that I've done before, I'm going to need a plan. Wes Anderson is known for having a very distinctive style, which includes hallmarks such as symmetry, whimsy, strong colour palettes, and sudden, random acts of violence. He is also known for repeatedly using members of the same cast in his films. I wrote a letter to Owen Wilson. I didn't hear anything back. So today we have a very important event to go to. My friend is getting married. So we're going to have to travel from where we are now in Hertfordshire, round the M25 to Kent. Normally we would get a train, and a train would be much more Wes Anderson, but unfortunately there is a strike on. Our other problem is that my friend's wedding is right near the house of my arch nemesis. So we will need supplies, and our first stop is the library. <laughs> about the book that I'm reading for this reading vlog. I'm reading Washington and Black by Essie Eddie Guion. This is a book about a boy named George Washington Black, um, known as Wash in this book. He is an enslaved man in Barbados in the early 19th century. At the beginning of the book, the plantation on which he lives becomes uh, overtaken by two brothers. Soon Titch is taken by the younger of these two brothers to be his assistant as he tries to build an aerial machine um, that can fly over great distances, the kind of a hot air balloon situation. So, so far I'm a quarter of the way through, I've read 100 pages of this book and I am enjoying it. The writing is pretty good um, and it is quite plot based, um, so I think I'll see how when I get further in, but I definitely think this could count as like a historical fiction, good plot, good writing, um, which I know is something that a lot of people are searching for and is te tends to be kind of hard to find. Um, it's already been quite harrowing, as you would expect for a book about enslaved people. There has been a lot of violence so far, and at the quarter, the 100 page mark, something has happened um, which has caused a shift in the way we were expecting the narrative to propel. Um, so I'm interested to see how it turns out. Um, I, I feel like the characters are quite well developed at the scene and the setting is also well developed so I'm enjoying that. It is Sunday morning and we're going to go on a walk. This is my arch nemesis, Winston Churchill. Fortunately for him, he's already dead. This is 
is as close as we got to the home of my arch nemesis, foiled once again by the National Trust. I suppose you would like to hear my thoughts on this book, since this is a reading vlog. Washington Black is a good, rompy historical fiction. It deals with dark parts of the historical past, the history of slavery um, in the Caribbean and how that, uh, and the racism in the British Empire, the violence of that slavery and how even the abolitionists were still still concerned more with their own immortal souls than they were with the people being abused. It's a book that also talks about science and emerging science and the ways that that science could be destructive of the nature around it and inconsiderate of the people. There is also a look at poverty and um, cycles of abuse, a more, a quite a systemic look at violence. Overall I found the writing to be very readable and uh, well evoked the space, but it wasn't anything special, there was nothing particularly unique or interesting about it, and I think that's the same is true for the whole of this story. It was a good book, but it wasn't particularly interesting in any way, it wasn't telling the story in any interesting way in terms of the structure of the book, it wasn't giving me anything more than the simple story of this man. And whilst that was an interesting story, it as a book didn't really do anything to draw me in. I think if you like character driven books and books that are historical fiction that are focused in on time periods that we maybe uh, are maybe have been less discussed in historical fiction in the past um, and in general in the past then I think that this would be a good one for you to read and it was shortlisted for the booker in 2018. It definitely is very thoughtful with the ways that it deals with the topics that it deals with. There is a lot of nuance given to things, there is no black and white evil and good. Um, there is much more look at, as I said, how how people end up in these positions, how uh, systems uh, in which people are put and beliefs that they um, have about the world, how those things affect everyone around them. It is harder to disentangle than a simplistic black and white good and evil narrative. My rice is ready. So overall I think if you are a general historical fiction reader who wants to read a kind of adventure book but a much more thoughtful example of the genre then I think this would appeal to you but it is not one that will stick with me for a very long time. This was a strange attempt at a video for me but I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. It was quite fun uh, trying to trying something different and definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone. Um, so yeah let me know what you thought in the comments and please remember to like this video if you did like it and to subscribe. I put out new videos twice a week so I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.